I've been reading all the comments about the Tidbit 2 with the diffuser and a lot of people are upset about it. I don't have one so I can't you know, demonstrate that. But I built a RGB LED clock a couple of years ago and I have a diffuser lens over mine and I wanted to show what a proper diffuser does. Right now you're looking at this morphing clock project that has a diffuser but I can flip it off just on there with tape and you can see this is what it looks like without the diffuser you can see the individual LEDs and they're they're off so they you know they show up and that's the problem but by putting a proper diffuser on there see it looks black but in a no way takes away from the sharpness of the LEDs that are on they're just as crisp with the diffuser on and it properly blacks out the stuff that's not on. This is what I think people were looking for with the tidbit too and they didn't get it. Uh, from the pictures I've seen it definitely looks out of focus. I have another clock I will show that also has a diffuser on it but I can't remove the diffuser. It's too much work to take the whole kit apart and show what it looks like without it. But let me show you what that looks like anyway. Okay, so this is a RGB matrix clock that I also built. This has a diffuser on it. Uh, it's too hard to disassemble this to show you what it looks like without the diffuser. But you can see from this, this is crisp. It's a sharp display. There's no out of focus type look, which is what I'm seeing on the Tidbit 2 pictures. I can show you what the display looks like. It's not lit up. This is an Adreno project I'm currently working on, so it's not plugged in right now. But this is what the LED panel is to that clock. So you can see all the individual uh, LEDs, and the diffuser properly hides you know, each LED so you don't see it. But it certainly doesn't make it look out of focus, which is what I'm seeing with the uh, Tidbit 2. So... And from what I saw with the formal announcement that they made, I don't totally buy it. I personally think they screwed up. And from what I heard, you have to debond the diffuser with a heat gun because it's glued down. I don't think that's a very good solution. But I just want to show two examples of what a diffuser looks like when it's working correctly.